these are BMW 323 engine mounts, the original ones, rubber ones. And as you can see, this is the current subframe setup. And the it has a an alignment notch, so it, this doesn't rotate while you tighten or loosen the nut. And it quit, fits quite nicely in the original spot for the Miata uh, engine mounts. I'll be cutting out part of the subframe to get more sump clearance and easy to work on. So I'll likely end up using the original slot. Same on the other side, I'll show you. This one's a bit tighter. Get the one sec, I'll get the lamp. This one is slightly tighter, but it uses the top hole, not the original one in the middle that's used for the MX-5. But it slots nicely into there. I can just make a plate on the top of the engine mount and then make some uh, extra supporting ribs uh, to bolt uh, to weld to the uh, plate that I already made on the side of the engine. It's pretty good. Here's the engine mount, or at least the beginning of. Let's get it mounted. I 
Here's the first engine mount, pretty much finished uh, as far as the shape goes, still needs a bunch of cleaning up and painting of course, but we'll get to that later, uh, probably skeletonize the right bit, the right part of the engine mount a bit, but so far pretty happy with that. You can see it reuses the original hole for the MX-5 engine mount in the sub subframe. We are going to chop the subframe up quite a bit, but we're gonna retain the part where the engine mount sits to get it positioned as nicely as possible. Yeah, it's gonna be smooth. You're gonna have a problem with the one in the boat. How can you be active? You got so much over the head. Moet ik hem
who's the passenger side engine mount and the driver's side actually because this bolt is hard to reach I cut out a, uh, a, bit, a slot so I can fit my extension with thingy on there there you go give me a quick paint, lick of paint and we're done yeah. Everything is growing in the future for the ball. We're now going to look and see if we can cut up the uh, bonnet to fit the cap. If it doesn't, it's not a big problem. But we're gonna cut out the rib that we showed in the scan video. And we'll see how far we can get the fitment with the little timing cover. If it doesn't fit, I'll likely get a second cover, as I've said before. And just cut the top part off, it'll, it'll be cool. Uh, so I get the exposed cam gears. But hopefully I can make it in such a way that it still closes with the bonnet itself. So let's get to cutting. Clearance time! Clearance. These are the almost basically finished engine mounts. I'm really happy with them. I'll probably cut out a hole here and there um, to make it a bit lighter. But so far, I'm, I'm very pleased with the results. It has the positioning pin right there, so it doesn't rotate while you're uh, fastening it to the car. And it slots on these studs. They slot into the original Miata subframe, which I'm very happy about as well and yeah it's pretty good in the next video we'll be um doing some smaller stuff like uh, i just got this in the mail the new turbo this is a pulsar 2860 ball bearing uh, dual v-band with an internal wastegate turbo a uh, shout out to akr performance they send me out a billet um, wastegate actuator because the stamped one that I ordered for, with 7.4 psi spring they didn't have the stamped one in there in stock so they actually sent me the billet one which is really nice of them free of charge and I'm really happy I'll be adapting that with the flange I made but you'll see that in the next video we'll see how it fits so thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time